waiting lines are everywhere. So the typical waiting lines or queues that we see are uh, people waiting in front of an ATM, um, customers or passengers waiting before security. Those are typical queues of people. But there are many different types of queues. So for example, uh, a traffic jam is a form of a queue where we have cars waiting to pass through a road. Or uh, when we call a help desk um, to get some help on a computer issue or some equipment that we purchased or our credit cards, the waiting to get to speak to a customer agent is uh, part of waiting lines. And um, even when we talk of all the online information moving around through routers and networks, the information sometimes uh, has an overload and has to wait at a particular router. So the waiting of information is also a waiting line situation. So, so whenever we talk of waiting lines, there are um, three things which are very important. Number one is that there are customers or products or information, something um, that is waiting. Number two is that they have a queue or they have a line uh, and they wait. There are many different types of lines, uh, many different types of line disciplines. So that all these customers or, or information or products are, are waiting as per that discipline in the line. And uh, number three is that there is a server who's providing some information or something that our products need to pass through to get out of the queue. And um, in designing a queuing system, whenever we talk of a queuing system, when we design this, uh, as, as businesses, we have to consider um, two important facets. Number one is what we could do is uh, put very few servers. Wonderful. When we have few servers, um, our servers are highly utilized and the cost of providing service is very low. And uh, versus uh, the problem here is that if you have few servers, there are times when our customers would have to wait a lot. So the cost of customer dissatisfaction goes up. Um, and the second choice that we have is, well, if you don't want customers to be dissatisfied, we put lots of servers, lots of service providers. But the moment we put lots of service providers, <laughs> the service providers are going to have excess time. They're going to be idle. So what we have is a situation where um, the cost of providing the service is very high. Maybe the customer wait time is low and the cost of customer dissatisfaction is also very low. So the essence of queuing theory or waiting lines is to find out these customer wait times and utilizations so that we may design a waiting line where both of these factors are um, designed to be what we want them to be as per our business policy.